Welcome to the pain cave. This is the desk setup in the pain cave. So I'm fairly accustomed to working remotely and I'm really fortunate to have such a great setup. Our computer setup is a Mac Mini with an M1 chip using a 34 inch ultra wide Samsung display with Logitech mouse, keyboard, speakers and webcam and then a Shure microphone. So I've mounted the Samsung screen to the wall so it's a, an optimum height and used an LED backlight just to take out some of that darkness when you're sitting at your desk. A few things that I have on my desk worth noting is a Google Home. It's great to be able to ask Google random questions throughout the day rather than sort of getting away from the task at hand. Um, I've also got my Quadlock desk mount, which is really handy to, um, to put my phone on. So yeah, that's about it. Really simple, quite clean, a few plants, nothing much, but I'm happy with it. So this is the sofa area. It's a great place to, you know, look out onto the garden, get away from the desk, put your feet up, maybe chill out with a coffee, or collapse onto after a hard training session in some cases. And in the corner, to make use of such a small space, I've put some shelves up, which keep my shoes, camera gear, and other things out of the way. To run Zwift, I use the Apple TV 4K, which is connected to a Samsung 4K 40 inch TV. I've mounted it quite low and angled the TV ever so slightly upwards. This allows me to feel immersed and clearly see everything going on on the screen in a more comfortable position when on the bike. And above the TV is where I store my Sun God sunglasses and my Met. In the storage below, that's where I keep my nutrition, some spares, towels and my muck off cleaning products. Being able to stay cool is a key component to any Zwift setup. The wattage cottage can get hot in the summer and cold in the winter. So having air conditioning allows me to control the room temperature. A good fan is crucial to help with the cooling effect which makes riding indoors much more comfortable. I use the Wahoo Headwind which I really rate. It is an expensive bit of kit, especially for a fan, but being able to sync and control the fan from your phone whilst getting a direct blast of air and remaining fairly quiet kind of makes it worth it. Then I use the Wahoo Desk, which is on wheels and adjustable so I can reach snacks, my keyboard, or use it to hold my laptop when watching something on those longer endurance rides. I have the Wahoo Kicker Bike, which is a fantastic bit of kit. I really enjoyed using it and had it for over a year now with no problems. I much prefer having a dedicated setup rather than using my carbon road bike. It's rock solid and inspires confidence when digging deep on those hard training sessions or in races. The adjustability allows me to replicate the position of my road bikes. If I want a more relaxed fit, I can make those adjustments on the fly. Also, if my wife or someone else wishes to use the turbo trainer, we can adjust it so it fits them. It's really quiet, smooth, and in the interactive aspects are really nice. The climb feature responds to gradient changes in Zwift. The only changes that I've made are swapping the saddle and the bars so they're the same as my road bikes. The Wahoo Kicker Bike is on a rocker plate that's been specifically designed by a local company called Omni Rocker. I would highly recommend investing in one. By adding motion, it makes riding on a trainer much more comfortable and adds to that real life feeling of riding your bike. However, and for me, more importantly, it engages your body in the same way as if you were riding outside, really using all the muscle groups so that you get the most benefit from each session. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite part of my pain cave is consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel for more cycling content. Now it's time for me to go and get changed and hop onto Zwift. See you in the next video.